Chansey Community Day is this weekend in Pokemon Go. And as always, I want to run through all the tips and tricks and get you guys fully ready for this event. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this event is February 4th from 2 to 5 p.m. And bonuses during the event, Chanseys will be spawning everywhere in the wild with a shiny rate of 1 in 25. We'll have quarter egg hatch distance, three hour instances, three hour lure modules, two times catch candy, two times chance of getting an XL candy when catching Pokemon, one extra special trade during the day and trades requiring 50% less Stardust. Do note daily adventure instance and golden lures are not included in those bonuses. And the trade bonuses are actually going down until 10 p.m. instead of 5. On top of that, you can evolve Chansey into Blissey during the event to get the new Legacy Charge Attack Wild Charge, which we'll talk about the meta relevance of that in a bit. And you can get five photo bombs with five Chanseys during the event. There'll also be Pokestop showcases for both Chansey and Blissey during the event, as well as two kilometer eggs hatching Happenies during the event with the same shiny rate. We'll also see exclusive $1 special research store you can go ahead and buy during the event. You don't need to buy this to play the event, but it does get you some extra encounters and items, as well as field research tasks with the task catch three chanseys for a chancy encounter, five great balls, two ultra balls, two pineapple berries, or 500 stardust. There'll also be exclusive stickers you can get in the shop as well as exclusive event bundles in the shop. And finally, after community day from 5 to 10 p.m., there will be four star raid battles for chancy, which will probably be super hard to take down. You cannot use remote raid passes to defeat these raids, but if you do take one down for the next 30 minutes within 300 meters of that gym's chancies will be spawning everywhere with the same shiny rate. Great for anyone who missed the initial time frame. With the event details of the way, let's get right into the tips starting with, as always, the 100% IVs for Chansey in Pokemon Go. On screen is going to be Chansey's perfect IV chart, showing you the 100% IV for Chansey from level 1 all the way to level 50. But not all these numbers are very useful for us. First of all, any Chanseys you catch from research, any type of research, will be caught at level 15, which means 537 will be the 100% IV for Chansey from research. However, if you're finding Chanseys in the wild, the highest level you can find a Chansey in the wild is going to be level 30. That's going to be only in non-weather boosting conditions, so any weather other than partly cloudy. Well, at level 30, Chansey in the wild will be a 1075 CP, meaning there's no CP higher than that in the wild, and that's a guaranteed hundo. If you're playing in partly cloudy though weather, when Chansey is weather boosted, level 35 is actually the highest, so 1165 CP is the 100% IV. Other than that though, there is 32 other 100% IV CPs you could find in Pokemon Go in the wild, and it's really hard to know because even if you find a 609 CP, it's not guaranteed to be a hundo, it could be a higher level Chansey with worth IVs. So the best thing to do is join a local Facebook or Discord group and look out for your your local callouts when people can call out those 100% IVs. However, 100% IVs is not always the best. Sometimes you actually want PVP IVs in Pokemon Go for your PVP Pokemon. If you want to know why, I'll link below a video explaining that phenomenon. But I want to run through the perfect IVs for Blissey and Chansey in Pokemon Go. Let's cover it. We'll start off with Blissey in the Great League. A 0 is the rank one best possible stat product IV you could get for a Blissey in the Great League. In the Ultra League, you're looking at a 0 as the rank one best IV. And of course, in the Master League of 15, 15, 15. I also will mention Chansey in the Great League, which a 15, 15, 15, a hundo Chansey is actually the best you could get for the Great League. That begs the question though, are any of these Pokemon actually good for PvP and is it worth trying to hunt out these PvP IVs? Well, even with its new move of Wild Charge, unfortunately, Blissey is gonna have no meta relevance. It won't be a good raid attacker because Normal is not a good raid attacking type. And in PvP, as you can see here, Blissey ranked 850 in the Great League and ranked 554 in the Ultra League. Not really good at all. However, the PvP comes in is actually Chansey in some limited Great League Cups. You may notice here 420 in the Great League is not very good, but we've had Cups in the past like the Love Cup and different types of metas where Chansey actually does pretty well. Because Chansey has such a high stamina stat, like look at this stat, 421, that's insane compared to everything else. It can just take hit after hit and it was the bulkiest Pokemon in Pokemon Go PvP. Meaning even with the terrible moves of Zen Headbutt and Pound, Chansey still sometimes is decent for the Great League. However, where these Pokemon actually do the best is gonna be in Gym Defense. And this is why you wanna play this Calm Day. Chansey and Blissey are actually the top two gym defenders in Pokemon Go. They have the highest stats, the highest stamina stats, meaning it's the most annoying to take them out of gyms, making them the best at defending gyms and staying in gyms the longest. Specifically, Chansey is actually better than Blissey because the higher CP you are as a gym defender, the quicker you lose motivation, which means the quicker you naturally lose that CP. So Chansey, although it's not as high of a CP, it actually loses that motivation slower and is just about as bulky as Blissey. They're very actually similar in bulk stats. So overall, I would definitely recommend getting yourself a bunch of Chanseys if you can for gym defense, a bunch of Blissies as well, because those things just do just as well. And just building up your gym defense team. If you're not into gym defense though, you could probably skip this calm day. Now there's another great thing about this calm day and that's gonna be the bonus of quarter egg hatch distance. And that's because the 12, 12 kilometer egg technique. Popularized by the trainer club, this strategy involves you stacking up 12, 12 kilometer eggs in Pokemon Go and hatching them all on a star piece. 12 kilometer eggs get you the most amount of stars in Pokemon Go. So you hatch them on a star piece. You can actually get up to 100,000 stars 
startups from just hatching 12 eggs. It's huge. When the event starts, incubate all those eggs at the exact same time. Obviously, the strategy is going to require a bit of money on incubators. And then go ahead and hatch them on a start piece. Get a bunch of startups, the quickest way to grind startups. So definitely do that strategy if you have a bit of money and are in need of startups. But if Stardust is too hard to get, something you can get for free during this comedy is going to be candy. And you want to make sure you're getting those candies because those chances are going to be pretty expensive to power up for gym defense. Let's run through my candy tips. Number one, use pineapple berries. Regular pineapple berries, multiply your catch candy by two and silvers by 2.34. Make sure you use those pineapple berries on all those chances during this calm day. Also, you can go ahead and mega evolve a Pokemon. If you don't know when you mega evolve a Pokemon, any Pokemon you catch and share as a type with that mega, you'll get more candy, XP and XL candy for catching a Pokemon of that type. Definitely worth doing on this calm day to get just extra resources overall. Chansey being a normal type Pokemon means you can go ahead and mega evolve either a mega Pidgeot, a mega Kangaskhan or a mega Lopunny. Mega evolve one of those three and you will get more candies for chances on the calm day. But mega is not the only thing you can do. You can also trade Pokemon. It's the season of timeless travels, which means every time you trade away a Pokemon, you'll get two extra candy as well as one guaranteed XL candy. It can be very vital to go ahead and mirror trade a bunch of chances with a friend. Try to get either some good IV chances and also a bunch of extra candies to power up your chances for gym defense. Also, we do have the two special trades on the calm day. So if you and a friend have a bunch of extra shiny chances, you can go ahead and mirror trade those to potentially get a Shundo, or you can go ahead and line up a couple of guaranteed lucky trades if you have some local friends that you've been meaning to trade with. And finally, go ahead and transfer Pokemon. Now, unfortunately, at the time making this video, I'm not sure when the two times transfer candy spotlight hour is, but I'm going to try to put it in the pinned comments below. But pretty much go ahead and hold onto your chances until the next two times transfer candy spotlight hour event and transfer your Pokemon then. And that brings us to our last section of the video, which is going to be our platinum metal tips. You need 35 platinum metals, go from level 48 to 49 in Pokemon Go. You want to get on this now because when it comes time to get them at the last minute, it's not very easy. What metals can we work on during this event? Obviously, Chansey is a normal type. So the school kid metal catch 2500 normal type Pokemon, a great metal to go ahead and work on. They're going to be everywhere. I also always say the research. I always, I also always say the field research tasks during calm days are so easy. Catch three of the community Pokemon for the community Pokemon. So the Ranger metal complete 2500 field research tasks is a great one to work on during this event. We also have quarter, we also have quarter egg hatch distance as well as Happeny in the two kilometer eggs. So if you do plan on going after those baby shiny Pokemon, which are actually considered pretty rare and can be used for trade bait, the breeder metal will be one you're working on hatch 2,500 eggs. It's actually super easy to hatch eggs really fast on these types of calm days. We also, do, we also do have three hour lure modules. So the picnicker metal, use a lure module to help any trainer catch 2,500 Pokemon. A great one to work on because lure modules are three hours. Go to your busy area, your area where everybody's playing calm day. Be the first to drop a lure. Everyone's gonna be catching chances off your lures, helping you work on this metal. And the final metal I'll mention is the cameraman metal had 400 encounters in go snapshot you get five free ones during the calm day might as well take them to work on this metal um yeah it's a hard one to get it just takes time and that is chancy calm day in pokemon go guys if you guys are excited for this one or let me know in the comments if you're just gonna be skipping it we'll see y'all next one fall for dips peace